One of my favorite go-to breakfasts, two options. I love making overnight oats. So really quick, simple, you sort of soak some oats overnight with some almond milk, a bit of cacao, mm. mix in some berries, from some crushed cashew nuts. So that's a really sort of nice carbohydrate-based breakfast. Or if um, I'm gonna make a, a fatty breakfast, it'll be like a scrambled egg or an omelet with some um, smoked salmon, something like that. So it's gonna be quick yeah. and easy and you know, give you energy for the day. So what are you gonna make for me this morning then? So this Practice is a, what we preach. This is one of my recipes from uh, one of my first books. Uh, it's called a Fats Me Up Smoothie. So it's basically a smoothie with some almond milk, some Greek yogurt, and some avocado. So healthy fats, really good for the heart, and this is going to give you energy. And then mix in with some nice carbohydrates. We've got some berries, blueberries and blackberries, and a little squeeze of lime. Mm. So, yeah, and a, and a little bit of honey, just to give a bit of flavour. And that's it, Fats Me Up Smoothie. OK, well, you start that, and I just want to ask you about healthy fats, because I've noticed that in all your books, even in your latest one, 30-Minute Meals, yeah. you don't include any of the nutritional value that's in any of the ingredients, and you certainly don't include the calorie count. Why is that? So this is the one thing that I get criticised for about, mostly personal trainers or other coaches online saying, you know, why don't you list the calories and the macros? But I don't think that... Um, calorie counting is a healthy way to look at food. Mm. I think you need to focus on you know, healthy home cooking, regular home workouts and teaching yourself through healthy cooking and just portion control. Mm. I think if, you, if I list the calories, everyone's going to think that's the perfect portion for them. Mm. But you might need less energy than I need. And so mm. I always say in my introductions, adapt the portions based on your energy demands. The government did say that they're going to consult on the fact that they want restaurants and their menus to have the amount of calories that are in each dish. They thought it would be a good idea for those who are trying to watch what they eat to assess what they're taking in every day. You don't think that's a good idea? I just think when you have like a daily ta a target of say, let's say you want to eat 2,000 calories a day, mm. it, it, it's very rigid and it doesn't allow for flexibility. If, if, you eat, if you do eat out with your friends or if you do have a glass of wine, you know, I think, and then there's this also the thing of the low calorie diet industry mm. where people will say I'm going to eat a thousand calories today, but they're not thinking about where that's coming from. They might save their calories and eat a, a packet of biscuits at night. Sorry. First up, then we've got some almond milk. Okay. If you don't like almond milk, you could always use normal milk. I use full fat milk because I love it. You oat know, love milk's it. my new thing. Is that any good? Oat milk, yeah, oat milk's pretty tasty and there's obviously soy and stuff like that. So, right, I've got some Greek yoghurt, mm -hmm. a little dollop of that. Do you want me to do some Lean in 15 style? Yeah, go on. Yeah? Dollop of Greek yoghurt! <laughs> you've, you've got to do the I'm intonation. Need an apron. Don't get crazy with the honey, even if you like it sweet. Just a little, <laughs> a little squeeze like that, yeah? Like you said, everything in moderation. And then whiz it up. Ready? Doesn't sound very good, is it? Quick and easy. Fats me up smoothie. Can we call it the sunrise smoothie now? You can call it the sunrise smoothie, yeah. but I, I don't... I wouldn't have this every day. This isn't something... I don't, you know, recommend constantly relying on shakes. Try and yeah. have a, a different kind of... a variation of different things, so a good balance. You don't want to rely on, you know, protein shakes or, or kind of smoothies every day because this is a good little snack but I'd still want to have a good breakfast as well alongside it. Right, do you want to have a little go? Yeah, let's. Bottoms up. Hope Cheers. you like it. Mmm, it's nice. Yeah, good. Yeah? Okay, that gets my approval. That can definitely be called the sunrise smoothie. Families, young children who don't have access to Instagram and, and fancy diet plans. Is this something you'd like to, I don't know, advise the government on or NHS advisors in terms of how to get children motivated uh, in fitness and interested in food? Why fitness is getting pushed out of the curriculum? Because it's not prioritised. So, you know, kids are less active and combine that with, with an unhealthy diet potentially at home and within school, then it is a massive issue and so I am really pushing that and I'm using the platform they're on which is YouTube and mm. trying to disrupt it and say right you're going to watch your channel and your vloggers and stuff but try and do a little workout with me yeah. think differently about the way you're doing things and that's my main kind of I'm not going at it from a food perspective as much it's more from a fitness perspective to get kids active and it's amazing of all the things I do it's the one thing that makes me the happiest like seeing the little videos of all the kids doing it and stuff every day no equipment they just tune in hundreds of kids all over the world I'm just their PE teacher for 20 minutes and, the, the, you know, the, the, the feedback we're getting from it is incredible. People just love it. I, I want to show you some of the little kids doing it. So they'll do it in their classroom, they'll do it in that their sports That is brilliant. Hall. There's some fantastic press-ups there from that kid. Um, <laughs> I mean, li literally in the middle of their classroom, look. There are going to be comparisons with Jamie Oliver. He likes to cook quickly as well. Um, but he's also got very involved in children's nutrition. He's called for a, a ban on TV ads uh, for junk food targeted at children at certain times. Is that the kind of route we should be going down? That will have an impact, you know, a small impact on a certain amount of people, but I think it's education as well, like, because you can remove it off TV, but it's on the buses, it's on the way to school, it's, you know, marketing's everywhere. I think 
they have a responsibility the companies to mm. not target products to children if they know it's not healthy for them but mm. they're driven by profit so you know, they're always going to be pushing those products but I think ultimately it's about education whether that's at home at school about nutrition and what these children should be putting in their bodies because it's if you combine an unhealthy diet with, with the, 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 the sedentary lifestyle we are getting sicker and sicker and more overweight at the moment we're quite a way into social free September where we're trying to encourage people to reduce uh, their use of social media to see what benefits there may be to that just wonder what you think about social media because your business is on social media, 2.3 million Instagram followers. Do you think you'd be where you are without it? Well, first of all, I'm 100% addicted to my phone. But I am, my mum is, my dad is, everyone around me is really addicted to their phones, whether you like to admit it or not. We're just so used to scrolling and filling that time up with, with our phone and, and our smartphones. But, you know, Instagram completely changed my life. Like, it allowed me to connect with millions of people. It allowed me to reach people all over the world with my mission, which is to inspire you to cook a healthy recipe or do a workout. So I think if I started today, though, with the same kind of motivation, the same videos, I wouldn't have the success because when I started, it was like just, you know, just starting up, not many people were doing it, whereas now there's so many people doing recipes and fitness and online plans that I think I had a good idea at the right time, so I got lucky with the timing. Thank you uh, for having breakfast with me. Well, to be fair, you made breakfast, but I don't feel too guilty because it Cheers. only took you a couple of minutes. Bottoms up. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> mm.